Hey guys, I'm back with part 6 for this tutorial on how to build the suburban house. Here in this one, we're going to be starting the interior furnishings. So we'll be sure to do the entire first floor and probably half of the second floor. I went through and gathered up just about every block we're going to be using here on the first floor. So you can see here, you could just grab all of these items. We'll start here in the living room. We're going to look at this back wall and we're going to have a TV. So at the bottom, starting in the middle, we'll carve out five spaces, leaving two spaces of the wall on each side. We'll replace these spaces with smooth quartz blocks. And then on top of that, we'll carve out another two layers of five wide. And we'll replace that with some black concrete. Then be sure to have the stone button. We'll place it here at the left corner. And now on each side, working your way up, let's remove four layers. And then let's go along the top as well. Be sure to have the smooth quartz slab. We'll place one on each side at the bottom. We'll replace these two spaces here with smooth quartz blocks. And then along the top, we'll have another set of smooth quartz slabs. Now be sure to have the item frames. We'll place two on each side of these full blocks. And then grab the birch trap doors. And we'll cover up the five smooth quartz blocks here at the bottom with these. And more towards the end of all the furnishings here on the first floor, we're going to go back and fill in all the item frames. And we also have some flower pots, which will have some flowers. So we'll go through and add all of those as well. But for now, we'll just leave it empty. So this is how it should be. Let's look over here. It's looking a little empty. So I decided to have a painting on the wall. So we'll have to maybe just place a couple blocks like that. And have the painting... We'll have it at this layer. There we go. Let's mark out where the couch is going to be. So I have the light gray concrete. We'll also be using some smooth quartz slabs. We'll look here more towards the right. We're going to be one space away from this wall. And four spaces away from this wall. So we'll skip over by four. So we'll start here on this fifth space. We'll place a strip of four in this direction. And then we'll turn in this direction and place another five starting right here. And now... Switch to the smooth quartz slabs. I'll look over here. And I'm going to have two lined up where the light gray concrete is. I'll go to this side. I'll have one. And then we'll just add an extra layer within here. So it's looking like this. We'll have a little 2x2 two two table right here. Just one space away from the edge of the couch. Let's grab some sea lanterns and the three carpet that we have. And we'll be adding some sea lanterns within the floor as a nice light source. We don't have to completely fill in all of the space. Let's just add a couple. So maybe one right there, another one here, and another one here. And that should be good. Now, I'm going to go through with the three different carpet and just add a cool pattern in the floor. So I'm thinking maybe starting it right around here. I just have some white carpet. And I'll bring it over until lined up here. So it is five spaces wide. Maybe add an extra layer of white there. And then let's switch to maybe the light gray. And we'll fill in some spaces there. And then how about some gray here? And then we'll go behind the couch, add another layer of gray. Make sure it's five spaces wide like we started at. And then how about another set here? And we can then maybe switch back to the white. So a rug like that looks like it's going underneath the couch. Let's start doing everything for the kitchen now. So be sure to have all the quartz blocks ready to go. And then I also have all these blocks as well, which we're about to use. So I'll start with the full blocks of the smooth quartz. And we'll be right here on the edge of this wall that kind of juts out a little bit. We'll place two here at the bottom. We'll go up along the top by two. 
And then one along the top like that. And then an upside down smooth quartz stair. And two slabs there. Now back to the smooth quartz block. We'll go at the right of this fridge. And we'll place one there. Skip over one space. Place another two. And then here in the floor, we'll delete this. Replace it with the campfires. And then above that, we'll have some furnaces. And then here at the right, we'll have another set of smooth quartz blocks, just two like that. Skip over one space, have another set of four. And then above all these, we'll have another layer of slabs. Now, here in the middle, we'll delete these two smooth quartz stairs, replace it with smooth quartz blocks. Below that, we'll add another layer. And then below that, we'll have two sea lanterns. And then to cover up the sea lanterns, we'll have two smooth quartz stairs in front of them. Underneath the stairs, we'll have some slabs. And then here in a second, we'll cover up those sea lanterns with some iron trap doors. With the quartz bricks, let's add a little backsplash. So we'll replace these chiseled quartz blocks. And then these two blocks of light gray concrete. Replace all of this. Let's cover up the smooth quartz blocks with the birch trap doors. Just for right here and here. And then same for this side. Now let me go ahead and grab the iron trap door so that we could cover up those sea lanterns. Now let's mark out where the kitchen island will be. We'll start with the smooth quartz block. We'll be lined up over here. We'll be two spaces away from it, so starting here on the third space, and we'll place the smooth quartz block like that. Now switch to the smooth quartz stairs, and we're gonna curve three together right here and then we'll have another stair like that we'll curve one into it and then we'll wrap these around and finish off this one so it's kind of curving as well so this is the shape for the island that we have these three spaces here is going to be filled in with a bucket of water so let's be sure to grab that We'll fill it in. And for now, we'll leave it at that here for the kitchen island. Let's look over here. We're going to have kind of like a little breakfast table. So we'll place it right around here, I think should be good on these four spaces. So let's grab the smooth quartz stairs. I'll just place a temporary one. And then one next to that upside down. We can then delete this one. And then continue on. With them upside down, we just want to make sure they're all going to curve together, like that. And I think this should be a good spot. So we have three spaces here, and here, and then two spaces here, and three here. So that's about as center as we're going to be able to get it. We'll switch to the smooth quartz slab, and we'll have one in each corner of the table. Like this. And then behind those slabs, we'll have an iron door. And we'll be sure to add all the decorations more towards the end. But let's look here in the corners. We'll be sure to grab the stripped, what is this, a stripped dark oak log, the jungle leaves, and the jungle trap doors. And we'll just place the log in each corner, three jungle leaves on top, and the jungle trap doors. So that adds a little bit more in the corners there. Let's head on into this room. This is going to be the dining room. So back in part 4, I mentioned I still wanted to add some spruce planks in the floor here for the dining room. So we'll be sure to do that now. So, we want to make sure it's 5 spaces wide. And we're going to be 1 space away from, like, the edge of this door frame. So, oh, you know what? We could just look here. We're going to be leaving 2 spaces of the dark oak planks. I guess that's easier. So we're going to be starting here on the third space. We'll carve out five. Like that. 
and then we'll have a block in each corner and then we'll go out another space and have three and then a block in each corner from there and another five over here now let's continue on and delete all the space throughout the middle And we'll now just replace it with these spruce planks. So I thought this was something nice to add instead of just leaving it completely dark oak planks. Now let's start marking out where the table and chairs are going to be. So we'll start with the smooth quartz blocks. And we'll place three right here down the middle. And then we'll just wrap around that with upside down smooth quartz stairs. So that's the table. And then we'll have a smooth quartz slab, just two on each side of the long side. And then one on the far ends. And then let's grab the iron doors. And we'll place these behind all the slabs. So that is the table and the chairs. Let's start adding some of the decorations. So we'll have an item frame in front of each chair. And then I believe I had a couple flower pots. So let's add some of those. Let's look over here at the breakfast table, and I just had a couple item frames. And then let's go ahead and add a lantern as a nice light source. And then I'll have a flower pot in the other corner. So let's look back here into the kitchen. Let's grab the wooden pressure plate, the birch button, the lever. Oh, you know what? Let's use this flower pot. I think I had another one on the kitchen island, so we'll do one right around there, should be good. And then let's add a birch button, how about right here, and a lever right here. So that's like the faucet, this looks like a bar of soap, and then of course a flower pot for a flower. And then we have the spruce pressure plate, I'll place it right around here so it looks like a cutting board. Now let's look over here at this wall. Let's grab the smooth quartz stairs again. And just right here where the space of three is, we're going to have a little cutout in the wall. So we'll delete these two spaces here, starting at the bottom. We'll have a smooth quartz stair facing up and upside down. And then we'll carve out, how about another three? And then this top one will be another upside down smooth quartz stair. And then we'll grab the painting and cover up that brick. So we can maybe do two small paintings, something like that. And then in front of those paintings, I'm just going to have a flower pot. And then let's look over here where this space of three is and we'll do the same thing. So a little something like that. And then in front of this window, Instead of just leaving this completely empty. I mean, I guess you could have another bush here, like we did over in those corners. But I'm actually just going to have a small table. And then we can have a nice light source, since you could see it's a little bit dark. I think I actually had a block of white concrete, which I couldn't grab. But right now, it looks like we could get rid of the spruce planks. We're not going to be using those anymore. And let's grab this white concrete. Oh, I just swapped out the iron doors. Well, I mean, I guess we don't need that right now either. So, on top of this table, we're going to have an end rod. So we'll place it right around here. And then we'll have a white concrete block, so this looks like a lamp. And then, for the other space, I had the wither skeleton skull. Right there. Let's head on into the bathroom, and we'll start doing all of this. Let's start by just marking out where all the main stuff's going to be. So over on this wall is going to be the bathtub and the shower. So we have these smooth quartz stairs. And we're just going to curve eight of these all together in the shape of a rectangle. 
And then we'll look at this wall, we'll be one space away from it. We'll have a full block, a slab, and an upside down stair. And we might as well just add the stone button and the weighted pressure plate. Hurry up and get the toilet done. And then let's look over on this wall. And I'm going to have two full blocks here at the left. We'll skip over this space and have another full block there. And what I like to do is just replace this quartz here, this uh, pillar quartz, with a smooth quartz block. So it looks like the counters kind of extend into there. This empty space is going to be filled in with a hopper. We'll cover up all of this entire front side with some of these birch trap doors. We got a crouch for the hopper. And then I have the lever here. And you know what? Let's actually add a little backsplash here. So let's see. Let's grab the quartz bricks. And we'll just replace the pillar quartz blocks. A little bit different than what we have for the rest of the wall. And now let's add the lever pointing down so that looks like the faucet. Let's look back at this wall. We have the deep slate tiles here. So what I'm going to do is just replace this entire backside. So we'll carve all of this out. And then we'll look here at this side and delete these two spaces lined up where the bathtub is as well as for this side. So with these deep slate tiles, we'll just completely fill in the sides. And then for this back wall, here at the bottom, where these two spaces are, we're going to replace it with the smooth quartz blocks. And then above that, with some smooth quartz slabs, we'll place them right here. So that's starting out where a shelf will be. And as you can see here at the left, we'll replace these two blocks. So we have this one and this one with some more of the deep slate tiles. And now the rest of this wall will continue with the deep slate tiles. So we have these two spaces going all the way up. And then we're going to leave these two above the shelf. So we'll just fill in these four. So that's how this wall is looking. On top of this shelf, we're going to have a birch button so it looks like a bar of soap. Here at the right we'll have a lever. How about right around here? So that's the shower head. And then right here we'll have a trip bar hook. So that's the faucet. And now let's grab the white stained glass panes. And we'll have three layers in height and two layers wide. So that's the shower door. Let's grab the bucket of water and we'll fill in the bathtub and then we got a crouch and fill in the hopper and now it looks like we just have to do some more things here on this counter space so we have a birch button I'll grab a flower pot and how about the white banners so, we'll have a button right there, so it looks like a bar of soap. We can have a flower pot here. Let's grab is a white banner and we'll place one over here, so that looks like a towel. And we'll place another one here. That'll be it for now, we just have to add a flower within that flower pot. But other than that, the bathroom is done. We'll head on out. Now over here at the staircase, I'm going to have a couple more cutouts in the wall. So we have the smooth quartz stairs and the blocks and then we're going to be using some paintings and the flower pot. So we'll start with the full block of the smooth quartz. We're going to be lined up here at the first step. We'll replace this block of white concrete with the smooth quartz. And then with the smooth quartz stair, we'll replace this chiseled quartz with one upside down. Oh, hold up. There we go. And then we'll carve out three spaces here. The third space will be an upside down smooth quartz stair. And then we'll have a painting to cover up these bricks here. So maybe just two small ones uh, like that. And then we'll have the flower pot right there. Now let's go on up and we're going to have another cutout right around here. So we'll carve out these two spaces and then we'll replace the bottom with a smooth quartz block. 
and then the top one will be an upside down smooth quartz stair you know what let's go ahead and delete another three so that we can place the stair easier and then we'll have one at the top we'll have maybe just a full-sized painting here let's do the, a different one that one's good and then a flower pot so couple cutouts in the wall going up along the staircase and now that is everything we just have to fill in all the flower pots and the item frames so i'm just going to go through and clear out all of these items just kind of get a little bit more organized and now i'll just grab a bunch of items for the item frames so first for the tv we have a music disc so we'll fill all of this in so they now look like speakers let's grab some food items so we have the cake for the dining room table and then we have some more items for within the item frames so i'll just grab a couple of these maybe this and then a bunch of items here is fine so let's look here at this little breakfast area i'll just add a couple items here like that i'll go over here to the dining room we'll add the rest of the items And then in the middle, we'll have the cake. Now, we just have to grab a bunch of flowers for all of the flower pots. So I think all of these should be enough. I think that's everything. So we have the entire first floor all done. We're going to be leaving the garage empty if you want to add a vehicle in here. That'll be up to you. You got plenty of space. You could probably actually add two. This is a pretty big garage. But yeah, that is everything for the first floor. We'll head on up to the second floor. And I'm just going to do this bedroom and bathroom. And we'll leave it at that here for this video. I went through and gathered up everything here for the bedroom. So you can see here, these are all the items you're going to have to grab if you want to have the exact same style. We'll look over here at the right side. This is where the bed and the nightstands will be. We'll look more towards the left. We'll leave these two spaces. So we'll start here on the third space. We'll place a strip of five smooth quartz blocks to start off the headboard of the bed. Let's grab the smooth quartz stairs. I'll place two upside down on this side. And over here, so these will be the nightstands. And then let's continue with the stairs. We'll have one on each side where the full blocks are and then upside down in between those and a layer of slabs on top of that and now let's continue with the slabs we'll line up where the full blocks are and we'll place five going out on each side and then we'll fill in the three spaces here in the middle and now with the gray concrete we'll add two layers of three like that a strip of white concrete and back to the gray concrete and then we have some snow so this is going to be used for the pillows now let's add the carpet and the sea lanterns so we'll start with the sea lanterns i'll maybe add one right around here and another one here and now let's start with maybe the light gray carpet i'll add a few right here and then how about one more and then the rest of it will be gray right here and you know what how about we actually extend the light gray into there and then this gray here we'll maybe bring over by one more and that is looking good let's look over on this wall i'll have the smooth quartz blocks we'll place six going up like that we'll have a layer of slabs on top or we could actually have two smooth quartz stairs side by side like that and now let's cover up those full blocks with the birch trap doors let's look at the nightstands we'll have an end rod with what color should we use how about we use the gray concrete so i have an end rod on each end of the nightstand with a gray concrete block so we have some lamps and then let's grab the flower pot and the fern we'll have that for the other space there on the nightstand 
And then over uh, this wall, we could have a little cutout. So let's go ahead and just delete this, going all the way from the bottom to the top. Let's grab the smooth quartz stairs again, place one facing up and upside down, and another one upside down. And then we have the other flower and the painting. So I'll add a couple small paintings in here. I'll have the flower pot with the flower. And that's about it for the cutout. And then over here in the corner, I'll have a desk. So switch to the smooth quartz stairs. Maybe place one right here in the corner. And then how about we grab these slabs, place two, and then one more stair right around there. And then we'll have another slab here. Behind that slab and on the sides of it, we'll have an iron door and the birch signs. So iron door at the back, a birch sign on each side. And something I actually think I forgot to grab, or maybe I didn't add it at the original build. But how about we add a little banner in front of that chair. So I'll just use the gray banner so it matches the rest of the room. And we'll just place it up against the door like that. Let's add some of the stuff here on top of the desk. So let me just move everything out of the way and we'll grab what we need. So how about the end rod and the gray concrete? We'll place this right here as a little lamp on the end of this desk. And then over on this side, we could have another flower pot. So let's grab a different flower. So a little something like that is fine. And now, let's grab the spruce trap door, the painting, the stone button, and the pressure plate. With the spruce trap door, I'll place it on top of this light gray concrete here where the windowsill is. And then on top of that, we'll have, or like up against that, we'll have the painting, so we have to crouch and add it, and that should be good. And then we'll have a stone button here, so it looks like a mouse, and a stone pressure plate here, so it looks like a keyboard. So now we have a laptop. We'll head on into the bathroom, and I'll just clear out all of these blocks except for the quartz ones. So we have the smooth quartz blocks, the stairs, and the slabs. So on this wall, right off the bat, I can see we'll have the bathtub. So we'll have smooth quartz stairs all curving together here. Let's look at this wall. We'll actually have the toilet over here. So the full block, the stair, and the slab. And then I'll have a little counter space area here for the sink. So this is a little bit different than I laid it out at the original build. But I think this should probably work better. So now let's add all of the actual details now. We'll have the birch trap doors, the white stained glass panes. Let's add a little backsplash. So I'm going to be using the pillar quartz blocks. Also grab the lever, tripwire hook, a birch button, a stone button, weighted pressure plate, a hopper, Maybe a couple banners, a bucket of water, a flower pot, and then you could grab just any flower you want. And I think that's about everything. So we'll look here at the sink area. We'll have the hopper. And then let's delete this strip of the smooth quartz blocks. We're going to replace it with some pillar quartz blocks, just like uh, one facing up, on the side, up, on the side and up. So just back and forth like we did the floors for the kitchen. And then we have the lever pointing down towards the hopper. We'll have the birch trap doors in front of these full blocks and in front of the hopper. We'll have a birch button so it looks like a bar of soap. We'll have the stone button here at the side of the toilet. The pressure plate on top of the toilet as well. And then over here we'll have Oh wait, let's continue with the pillar quartz blocks. So we'll delete this wall here. And we'll just bring it all the way up. And we'll just continue with the crisscross pattern. So we started, we're starting here with one facing straight up and down. So right next to that we have to have one on its side. And then we'll just continue with this pattern.
So there's the back wall. And then we should still be able to do these two spaces here. Yep, looks good. So let's continue on. So we have one facing on its side here. So we'll start off with one straight up and down. So there we go. Let's grab the white stained glass panes. I'll place three in height and two wide right here. So now with the lever, I'll have it here as the shower head and the trip bar hook there for the faucet. Now let's grab everything else. You know what? Let me just clear all of this flower pot here. We'll have a banner right there as a towel and another one over here. And then it looks like we just have to add the bucket of water. That is all I'm going to do here for this bathroom. We'll head on out. That's it for this bedroom. So now I'm going to actually leave it at that here for part six. So in part seven, we'll be finishing the build. We just have to add maybe a few little things here in this hallway. We have this laundry room, a bedroom and bathroom here, and then a bedroom and bathroom in the attic. Alright guys, I'm going to leave it at that here for part 6 for this tutorial on how to build this suburban house. If it helped you, be sure to please leave a like, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in part 7. We'll then be finishing the build.